Next, we'll demonstrate the three axis machining capabilities of NX CAM. We'll use this handle mold cavity to do that. Several operations have already been completed. We've roughed out our cavity. We've done some constant Z-level profile machining and some contour machining. What we want to focus on now though are the gray surfaces at the back of the mold. We'd like to create a smooth toolpath so a zigzag won't work. We want our toolpath to follow the shape of the cavity. Our solution in NX CAM is called the streamline operation. This operation allows you to either select faces or, as in this case, we're selecting the edges for flow and cross curves. So here you see two flow curves and then two cross curves at either end to bound the area that we want machined. As I hit the generate button, I'll explain what's going on internally. You might have noticed the flow curves that were created there. Those are interpolated by the software using the boundaries that I provided to it. In this way, it's able to ignore the surface edges and create a smooth toolpath regardless of the nature of the surface geometry it was given. Even though I'm coming down this vertical wall and then out onto a flat surface, I'm getting a smooth step over through this whole cavity. That's going to be a toolpath that runs efficiently and is quick to clean up. The cleanup of mold areas where there are sharp or tight fillet radii is often a challenge for NC programming. NXCAM has an automated solution to this problem called flow cut. In the operation shown on the screen, I've selected a group of surfaces that will allow me to filter down so I'm only looking at the sharp areas I want to machine with this tool. It's a three millimeter diameter ball end mill. In the options, I can choose what we call a reference tool. I'll select a six millimeter diameter ball as my reference tool. This causes the software to only look at areas that this tool could not have reached and cut that material with the three, three millimeter diameter ball. Let's generate the toolpath now to see the result. The software is looking for those tight areas that cannot be reached. It puts center lines through those areas and then creates the toolpath based on the overlap and the spacing information that it was given through my parameters. As I window in, you can see that in fact it has created a very smooth toolpath and it's correctly identified the areas where the six millimeter tool could not have fit. It's also optimized my toolpath to minimize rapid traverse.